The duck boat that sank during a storm last week was raised to the surface of a Branson, Missouri lake on Monday. The investigation continues in the aftermath of the tragedy in which 17 people died. Now a former duck boat driver is speaking out. Sarah Fort sat down with him. The, the, captain, the captains go through extensive training. I mean, they're, they're professionals. You know, they're professional captains. They are certified by the Coast Guard. And, you know, it's their decision right then and there to say, you know, it, it's, it's a captain's decision. Jim Wilson is grappling with the why. An experienced 16-year captain would take the chance. At 6.30, I was watching the news. Okay, West three came on. Ron Hurst said, but you guys have a camera set up by the show oh, Branson Bell. Okay. And Ron Hurst came out and said, I can see boats on the lake right now. If you know those people on the lake and they have cell phones, call them up on the phone and tell them to get off the lake. Wilson drove the ducks all summer last year. He tells us in his experience, someone from the main office would call the boat and let them know that weather was moving in. But ultimately, the duck captain and the duck's driver on land can look at it themselves. Great big radar. It shows them the weather's coming in. It shows the, the air, the uh, wind shear, the speed of the wind, all this stuff. It tells, you know, I don't know why. Two other ducks made it off that Thursday evening. One was right by this one on Table Rock. The other was not far away on Taney Como. Both those captains made the same call to go into the water as the captain whose boat that went down. Inspectors say the boats could become a, quote, death trap. One issue is the, the canopy uh, on, on the ducks as well as the curtains that come down the sides, which uh, in that video from the Branson Bell, you can see uh, you can see that the curtains are down. Well, when the curtains are down, there's no way for the people to escape. Um, it becomes a people catcher. It was raining, so he probably had them down so they wouldn't get wet. That was Sarah Fortz reporting. The Coast Guard is taking the boat to a facility to continue its investigation.